Hello everyone, my name is Rishti Rawat. I am from Wings Training Solutions. Today I welcome you to a brand new session on personal branding. Let's get started. We will begin with understanding the basic concept of personal branding, what it stands for, what is it. So personal branding is the practice of marketing people and their careers as brands. It is an ongoing process of developing and maintaining a reputation and impression of an individual group or organization. Well, you all know that branding is a very important concept related to marketing. It talks about marketing and talking about your own product and services. As soon as the word personal gets associated with the term branding, it automatically means that branding about an individual, a group or an organization. Personal branding is an art which can be mastered if you know some strategies that I'm going to discuss today in this session. Why is personal branding important? Let's have a look here. Personal branding gives you the opportunity to show current and potential clients your skills and strengths. It is helpful to establish your credibility in the job market. People like to feel like they know you, especially before they spend money or do business with you. That's a reality. If you want to market your own products and services, in the job market, in the open market, it's important to tell why people should opt for it. It immediately enhances and builds the trustworthiness in a particular product or service, which is why personal branding today becomes very important. So how do we go about it? How do we create our own personal brand? There are multiple ways through which you can create your personal brand. I have listed some of the ways strategies through which you can create your own personal brand. Number one is CV. CV stands for curriculum writing or resume. Resume is a document which entails your job qualifications and your credentials. Curriculum writing also possesses the same. You must know that a lot of job search sites these days are also providing CV creating or resume creating services. Why do you think such services are required? Because in the job market, where there are thousands of applicants applying for the same job, creating an effective CV or a resume becomes absolutely significant. Next way of creating your personal brand is portfolio. What do you understand by portfolio? Portfolio is a set of documents that talk about your past accomplishments and your current accomplishments. It can also include samples of your work. If you're in the creative field or in the technical field, or you're an entrepreneur, anywhere your work is related and you've already done something for some client, you can showcase those in your portfolio by building it in a very professional manner. Third is social media. Social media in today's time becomes a very important tool in creating your personal brand. Social media, you have so many platforms these days like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and many more. On all these platforms, you have the opportunity to reach out to the followers, to reach out to a fresh audience and market about your products and services. Next point is testimonials. Testimonials are very, very impactful because people want to hear what other people want to say about you. So, gather all the testimonials from the people you have worked for. Testimonials can also be letter of recommendations, appreciation certificate, or any other uh, encouraging certificate or rewards or recognition you have received in your employment. Next is website. Yes, website is also a very important uh, tool to showcase your skills and strengths. These days, we have so many platforms on which you can get your basic website at a very reasonable cost. And trust me, if you have a website of your own, which has your name, your qualifications, and your skill set, it will immediately make you stand out from the others in the job market. Next is reviews. When people know about your work, they want to talk about it. And in this world of social media, it becomes very easy to share your reviews, feedback about whatever experience you have had with the company. We as customers buy a lot of products outside in everyday life. Whether it is a grocery product, whether it is clothing apparel, electronics or automobile, 
bigger purchases. In any of the purchases that we make, it's important to analyze the brand and what experience does it bring to you, isn't it? So reviews become a very significant part of highlighting about your strengths. Last strategy, which is called self-packaging. I know sometimes we do hesitate about talking about ourselves and bragging about our accomplishments. But let me tell you, it is the need of the hour to talk about yourself in the most effective and professional manner. Self-packaging becomes very important at that point. You need to package your skill sets and about you in a way that becomes or looks very attractive to the employers or to the investors or to the collaborators. Self-packaging is an art of showcasing that you are a complete package having all the qualities for collaboration and work in the future. Self-packaging also becomes one of the most powerful strategies in creating your personal brand. Very, very relevant for entrepreneurs and people who want to start their own business. How do we leverage our personal brand? There are multiple ways in which you can leverage your personal brand. First is self-introduction. When we address an audience, we talk to people, it's important to create an effective self-introduction. A good self-introduction invokes curiosity in the minds of the listeners and the viewers, and they want to know more about you. So when you have everything set up, for example, your website, your business card, your portfolio, your CV, you have a more powerful opening when it comes to self-introduction. Second point, demonstrate your values and abilities. When you have a personal brand around yourself, you can demonstrate your values and abilities in a much better way. Earlier, you did not have that much experience of talking about yourself for a very long time. But as you practice talking about you and your work and your accomplishments, it becomes easy to demonstrate what you got. This is helpful in creating an effective personal brand. Third point is changing people's perception about you. Well, in today's time, it's all, the game is all about the perception. How do people take you? In what light, in what sense? And what is the image that you create around yourself in today's time? So if you want people to have a different perception about yourself, you need to get your personal branding strategy in place. Fourth point is to influence others. Creating a personal brand around yourself also helps you to have an influence over others. In today's time, everyone wants to become an influencer, but it's important to understand what will attract your audience. And that will come with proper analysis. The next part is how to get started about personal branding at one go. Point number one says, what are your core beliefs and values? Understanding your core beliefs and values will help you unlock your potential. We do activities like SWOT and PESEL analysis to understand our belief system and values. You must know that all the successful organizations have very strong foundations. They have a very strong framework on which the entire organization is built, is laid on. So it's important to identify your core beliefs and values and stick to it till the end. Next point is, does your product, service or brand give people a transformation? Very true. Your product, tangible or intangible, your service or your brand should give people some transformation. Transformation equal to change. There should be a change in the life of the customer or the client when they purchase a product or service from you or when they start taking services or any products from you as a person. If there is no change, then there is no uh, use or the utility of the product in most of the cases. Third point is what problem do you solve? If there is no problem, for what are you searching the solution? So first, know what the problem is, the existing problem, analyze it, and then come with a viable solution. In today's time, we want people to be problem solvers and not problem creators, isn't it? 
And if you can become a problem solver in today's world, you're already a game changer. Next question says, what's your niche? Niche means a specialization. So whether you see social media or your website or your portfolio, if you have your USP in place, if you know your unique selling proposition, that's your niche. You have to do really good in your niche to stand out. You can influence, you can have an impact and also bring in a lot of sales and revenue generation if you have a strong hold over your niche. The last point is what skill sets can you offer? Apart from the basic qualifications that we got, we also need to look beyond that. For example, the skill sets that you bring to the table. Let me give you a few examples here. Interpersonal skills, leadership skills, negotiation skills, persuasion skills, collaboration, teamwork, all of these skills are also very sought after in today's times. So start brainstorming. Think about these questions. Try to answer these questions and get started with your personal branding today. Coming to the social media. When we talk about the social media, there are various platforms on which you can actually portray yourself, project yourself, create an image out of yourself. And the best part about social media is that it is free initially, unless you go for advertising like in Facebook or Instagram. So what are the most popular social media channels in today's times? Number one, Facebook. Then we have Twitter. Then we have LinkedIn, Instagram, and many more. But the most popular are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram. Let's talk, talk about these platforms one by one and how you can leverage it. Facebook is a very common and the biggest social media platform, having millions of users connected all over the world. With such kind of facility, you not only get to connect with people in India, but also outside India in other countries, which means that business can go international sitting in our home country. A lot of people go for Facebook advertising these days to fetch more clients, to get more revenue, to generate sales and leads. Facebook becomes a very important uh, social media platform to do so. That is why they have Facebook advertising and people want to benefit out of it, isn't it? So yes, you can go for Facebook advertising to promote about your business. You can simply create a Facebook business page for your particular work, business, or any kind of product or service that you want, that you deal with. Facebook helps you give that credibility and trustworthiness, which is required and people are looking for. Then comes Twitter. Twitter is one platform which allows users to tweet, which means to, to uh, leave a text, which is small usually, but yes, it has very huge impact. I have seen in the recent times when COVID-19 has made everyone so vulnerable, through Twitter, people are reaching out to those people who are in need. So when such campaigns can become successful, your work can also come into the limelight with the help of such platforms. Third is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very popular platform for social media. LinkedIn is one platform in which all the professionals are connected with each other from all the industries. I would suggest everyone that you should have at least your LinkedIn account in place, which should talk about your education and experience, internship certificates and recognition. It is a good way of projecting yourself that you are a really valuable professional. We also have LinkedIn advertising these days. We also have job search uh, finders on LinkedIn where you can find jobs and apply for jobs and internships. Next is Instagram. Instagram uh, is a very visual social media platform. Earlier when it, when it was introduced, uh, people used to do a lot of photography uh, and showcase photography through Instagram because it was a visual medium. But now as I see Instagram evolving slowly and steadily with options like IGTV, 
reels and introducing short videos, long videos, stories, highlights. I think it's a complete package for business owners. You can create an Instagram business account and run your business on that very cute and beautiful app. So all of these uh, social media platforms are very powerful tools if you think it from the angle of personal branding. And we all can leverage it. We all can find a lot of opportunities and we can unlock a lot of benefits out of these social media platforms. So I'm sure that knowing about what is personal branding, why it is used, what are the social platforms that you can use, what are the different ways in which you can use it, you will be able to make better decisions about yourself. Thank you so much for listening to this video. I hope you found this uh, video a little useful. You can also visit our YouTube channel, Wings Training Solutions, and look for more training videos like these. Thank you.